Okay, I had a number of suggestions in my request area that uh, I do a number of things. One of the requests was to present a distribution that is loaded with eye candy. And then, of course, I've had suggestions that I look at E17 and requests for Bodhi Linux. So what I decided to do is just jumble all that up into one review right here. We are looking at Bodhi Linux 2.3.0 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Bodhi Linux, and this is using the Enlightenment 17 desktop. When you first install it, you are given options for how you would like to have your desktop appear. And based on those selections, I chose this kind of look. Now, Enlightenment, or Bodhi Linux, I should say, doesn't require he ultra heavy hardware to run. Um, you could actually run this on a computer that's maybe five to seven years old, just fine. But it does have some pretty interesting special effects on it. For instance, you can see that it does have some compositing and shadows. It has a neat little effect when you decide to switch screens. We'll start at the lower right of the panel, and then we'll cover the very few applications that this comes with. Uh, basically, if you use the uh, desktop layout, which is what I chose, you have a power indicator, a clock with a beautiful calendar here, a desktop switcher, your uh, volume control, and when you go into settings on this, it's pretty cool what you can do with this. I mean, the graphic changes on the bottom, and uh, the theme on this is, well, kind of cool. Okay, and then you have a, a connection for your wired internet. Now, the thing I don't like about this is, if I click away from the calendar, it doesn't close. It's kind of wonky. And get this. Let me uh, move over to this other. See, the calendar still stays. So you have to actually click to shut it off. Let's say I have another window open. Let me go ahead and uh, let's select Leaf Pad. All right. I have this window in focus. If I want to focus to another window, I can't click inside that window. I must click the title bar. That's kind of, uh, that just drives me nuts. Oh well. Not Bodhi Linux's fault, I'm sure. Uh, but this is a design of E17. And I'm sure there probably is a way to change that. But I would think that, you know, if, you know, when the, distribution is being presented that they would, you know, have common, you know, features enabled that people are used to. All right, so let's go ahead and give you a rundown of what you get with this. It's not a lot because this is a system that you build on top of. This is based on Ubuntu, and I believe it's based on 1204. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Okay, uh, in accessories, you get an archive manager and leaf pad. And then, of course, you have uh, a link to your preferences where you can, uh, you have just a bunch of system tools. And let me tell you what, there is the mother load of uh, tweaks in this. And then Synaptic Package Manager for getting all of your packages. Okay, and then uh, in Internet, just the lightweight Midori web browser is installed. You can use the regular version or for private browsing. And then uh, you have uh, the Enlightenment File Manager, which is right here. Nice, elegant to look at. But really, uh, <laughs> no default folders. I guess you have to put them in there. And then, of course, you can navigate your root file system. Very pretty to look at, but um, okay. Next, let's see what else we got. You can take a screenshot, desktop, you can change gadgets and put new gadgets on here. Uh, let's put an everything starter on here. We'll add that gadget and we'll move this. We'll resize it. Click outside the box. 
and it pulls up a menu. Right click outside the box. How about right click in the box? Okay, good. All right, and then when clicking on it, you got the everything launcher. And no way to reposition the window. <laughs> Uh, happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, good. Okay, now how do I close it? I'll just close it. Yeah, thank you. All right, very good. Okay. Enlightenment 17 does take some getting used to. N I'm not knocking it. I'm just, you know, I, I just had a little bit of, you know, when I was testing this, and I'm still, you know, it's like I, I couldn't find the settings to um, change all that because everywhere in these menus are settings. Uh, you have uh, even more settings. But I think they have a settings panel here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, and uh, you could get lost for hours in all of these settings. Another nice thing I'd like to point out is uh, I actually had the option when I ran this in live CD mode to actually run this in memory. And I'll tell you what, this operating system is fast. I mean, I couldn't believe how fast it was operating. And even then, uh, you're noticing as I'm clicking through things and running uh, items, I mean, things just slow up really quick. So, I mean, that's one of the advantages to this. But really, I am not enlightened by the Enlightenment desktop. Although, um, you know, it does look attractive, you know. Um, I can do the same thing with my XFCE desktop that I've done. Well, I've done even more. I added KWIN to it. Um, this no longer supports Echomorph, which would give you Compiz effects on top of this, and then you could have an extra layer of coolness. Um, but for what it is, I mean, it is pretty nice looking. But... But the thing is, if you, to get the look you want, <laughs> you're going to have to spend a lot of time playing with this. Nice base system to build on top of, but not really my cup of tea. Mm -hmm.